Magandang hapon, mag good afternoon, and good evening in the Philippines. I said or almost early in the morning. Um, here we are again, mga kabayan. It's going to be kabayan. Usap tayo. Talk and driving. So thank God that you know I leave early today at Friday. It's four twelve p.m. Our temperature is eighty five degrees Fahrenheit, and I have a good. Oh, I'm gonna tell you a story, mga kabayan, this morning. Oh my goodness gracious lord. Uh, I thought that, you know, um, well, my other phone that's already broken, um, I, I thought that I can still salvage and use it. But this morning, when I came in to start driving, very unfortunate mga kabayan that there's a little bit spark and there's a little fire and I was so scared and surprised and don't know my feeling. And then after that incident, so thank God that, you know, I stopped it. And, but my, my small pinky, my small finger kind of uh, burned. So it's, it's very unfortunate mga kabayan. But and, and another unfortunate mga kabayan that happened this morning as well. When I tried to drive this morning, my car have an error because this is everything electronic, I guess, because, because this is 2018 uh, Toyota Prius. So I can, there is a kind of, uh, what you call this, a, a yellow exclamation and then there's a sound when I try to uh, drive turn into drive there is a beeping and then there is a yellow exclamation that's popping up oh my goodness I thought I broke it and then because of that fire this morning with that uh, cord of the phone And then I already texted my supervisor that I will be late and I will be going to, that I will be going to dealership to fix the car. And then the car is not moving forward. So therefore, so therefore, Um, I have to, uh, I have to call the tow. And mga kabayan, with regards to that, so I've already included in, uh, in the package of our car insurance that if there's something happened with the car, the tow, the towing part is already, you know, paid off. So meaning, I don't have to pay for the tow to make the story short. So, therefore, mga kabayan, uh, what happened now is that. Oh, by the way, mga kabayan, we are going to go to the Costco because uh, I'm going to fill up a gas for next week. And then uh, the way I already uh, told you about the uncircumstance and uncircumstances happened to me this morning that you know the car didn't work. And then my 
partner Keith. And then I, initially I call, I call him, and then saying that the car is not working, and then um, I'm. I did call the towing company and I have to go to the dealership and then I already uh, sent a text message to my supervisor and supervisor responded back. And then she told me that uh, as long as you're okay and then just let me know. Um, and then because I, I told her that it's still coming, but because of the car, car problem, I will be late. So, Praise God when my when my partner Keith called for the second time to try again. Do you know mga kabayan what happened? Please drop drop down your comment and once I posted this one, please drop down below what's the problem of the of the car why it's not working. And I will going to answer in the next episode once I got the answer. And I'm going to shout out to you guys, mga kabayan, uh, whoever uh, sent a message in, at, the, at the comment section. So to be revealed next time. So, so the car works. But... You need to put what do you think is the problem why what's the problem what do you think what's the problem why the car didn't work so please comment please comment below my kabaya. so the car works now and then I'm so surprised but I, I'm still late with uh, 15 minutes when I, I think 20, 25 minutes or less, but in about in that area, 8 25 or something like that. So I came late to make the story short, and then I immediately sent a message to my supervisor. That I said, I'm, I'm already here, and I immediately log in. What I'm gonna tell you now, the good news part. So one of, one of each of the good news, I completed my my work, my desk, called as desk. It was assigned to us every week. So I completed my my work at 4 p.m. Praise God, because normally in the previous episode you're gonna see me. You know, leaving work late. So, so another good news. Mga kabayan, um, so I have my current position as processor, and the pay is above minimum, of course, above, above minimum, but not great. So I did keep on applying for a job in and out of the company and then I was interviewed, was not, wasn't selected, other, 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 other job 
that I applied either closed or they selected somebody else and not more informal. So the good news part, mga kabayan, is that today the recruiter of my company sent me a message this morning and then we chatted and then we chatted mga kabayan we chatted mga kabayan and I'm not sure maybe at the back of my mind when she sent me a message in a team uh, uh, in a team uh, I thought she is going to ask questions but very fortunate mga kabayan in, in spite of bad luck happened this morning there is a good luck happens to me and I shared first to my partner chief I called him immediately upon I knew and accepted the new position as an analyst and I'm so happy it, it doesn't mean that I don't like my current job my current job it's okay and I don't have any problem at all it's just that I wanted to move forward in my career. I need to step up. I need to, you know, aside from moving forward with my career, I'm <clears throat> sorry for that. Aside from moving from my career, same time to have a better pay. So whenever you wanted to go to the different, <clears throat> different job, or position so we normally wanted to have you know a better 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 you know role the position at the same time better pay so they called us greener pasture it's because Mahakabayan if you know that when you apply for the next one after you stayed for a company for a quite some time and then mga kabayan, they always go in your last pay so, so they normally ask you how much you are currently earning because sometimes mga kabayan, the same position based on your pay and based on your experience like for example uh, applicant number one and versus applicant number two applicant number one just finished college a little experience just you know job experience through in, in their college and then applicant number two, the same job, the same position as applicant number one and applicant number two. But the applicant number two have about five to 10 years. So both of them is going to be, have the same role, you are doing the same thing, but the, the applicant number two, is getting a higher pay than applicant number one so that's the reality mga kabayan so it's basically coming coming up with with your current current pay and current you know role what experiences you have it's because majority of the time they're not going to offer you uh, based on your below rate your current rate current value sometimes it does if there's a lot of ap applicants and you really want that sometimes the other applicants 
are taking of that one because they don't have any choice. They really need a job as soon as possible. So in my situation, mga kabayan, I, I have already a current role, so I'm not really, I'm not really, you know, in really dire needs to get another position. So I just keep on wait and see. So actually, mga kabayan, I was interviewed as account payable specialist. So my application wasn't um, move on because I'm looking for a direct hire and permanent role. But instead, the hospital that I'm applying for, they only accept temporary role or temporary yeah. So which uh, when I when I express my application, mga kabayan, is that I said I don't like to take a risk with any temporary role or temp to hire role because I am currently in a permanent position and you know I don't like to take a risk so pretty much so that one is also better pay but not I think good as my current my uh, the, that they offer it to me to me analyst role so this one is going to be Marakabaya is also going to learn a new stuff for me than the regular way as processor this is kind of different Marakabaya but I'm up to, ch to the challenge because I know it's God going to help me out in learning the new stuff and be competitive in what I do and I'm really up to the challenge not about it. because as for me I'm not getting younger so I need to step up in my in my plate but of course mga kabayan when you start here in the states you cannot just jump to you know high high salary grade you cannot because you are going to submit your resume there are also other applicants that you are competing with no matter what you need to compete during the interview and you're gonna compete whether they're going to give you a chance to schedule for an interview sometimes the interview is only not one interview but it's a two-time interview they're going to do a um, elimination method mga kabayan. so they're going to select how many applicants that they're going to that, that they're going to be given a you know a chance for a second interview so if you've been eliminated on the first interview you can you pretty much not get the job so somebody's going to be getting that job So right now, mga kabayan, we are going to to Kotsko to pump a gas, mga kabayan. Hope it's not long, long line, mga kabayan. So we know already, mga kabayan, that it's a you know that the, the gas price is still high, but currently, mga kabayan, the price. Of gas gas in Costco it's three dollars and twenty two cents the regular gasoline 
So I'll be getting a regular gas sa mga kabayan. So we're going to fall in line mga kabayan It's a different line I fall on to the right side so that we don't have to pull the uh, What's that? The dust pump or something Because it's not It's hard for me to do it Very much So I decided to move So the temperature now is 89 degrees in the Kabayan. And we're gonna wait our, our turn in the Kabayan. This is how it works to hear the Kabayan. You have to wait your turn. So, as you can see, mga kabayan, it's hot, right? Just like in the Philippines, it's also hot. This is here, it's a little bit humid and hot. Dry. So. Okay, so. Way back, mga kabayan, are, you know, up about me. So once I gotten your comments, mga kabayan, I will be going to shout out whoever who comments and I'm going to answer the question you posted below, mga kabayan. And I would like to thank you, mga kabayan, for all those supporters. And for those of you Makabayan who haven't yet subscribe, please subscribe, likes, comments, and thumbs up. And we are getting closer Makabayan. So we are in the next in line after these two finished. So mga kabayan, uh, okay. So I already told about my day today, Friday, uh, uh, yeah, August 12 of 2022. It's 4:36 p.m. now, and with that, mga kabayan. So so I'm going to put in the park so it's not it's not gonna move and okay so you know already that I'm already 12 years here in the States and hopefully 
God you know, going to bless us to be able to return to the Philip going to travel to the Philippines on 2022 with the dates we still we still looking for the dates let's see what's going to be the dates because you know already mga kabayan that I have new position so more than likely we're supposed to do a two weeks in the Philippines so I don't know if going to allow in my if I'm still with my my job at that time or what position or what company I will be in the 2025 I'm not sure but I have strong faith in God that he will provide God will provide He will provide my command. God will provide. No matter what, what my command, God will provide. So I'm going to to, to go up my kabayan and going to put the gas. Okay, I'm not gonna bring it, but I'm going to. I'm back mga kabayan It cost mga kabayan $13.78 So we are going to stop by here mga kabayan To Kotsko I think we're gonna buy a We are going to buy a eggs and rotisserie chicken so we are ready in the parking lot my kabayan Okay. Let's 
go mga kabayan to Kotsko. So it needs to have a this one to get in. And how many liters that I place mga kabayan? It's stated here. It's four gallon, four point two six nine gallons, and the price is three dollars and two two nine per gallon. So we paid thirteen dollars and seventy eight cents. So let's go, mga kabayan. Tara, let's go. So we're going to close this one. Lock it. See you a bit. <laughs> 